Hmm, I got an Australian smartphone and as an Australian, I have to say, I'm a little convicted. Conflicted. <laughs> Stereotypes, huh? Hi, I'm Sam Tucker and welcome to another Honest Unboxing video. Today, we're having a look at the Agora 8 from Kogan. Thank you very much, Kogan, for sending this one in. And as you know, Kogan is an Australian brand, so it is a true honor to be reviewing an Australian smartphone. Made in China. Well, you can't have everything. Oh yes, crikey, there it is. Oh, the Agora 8. And of course you get chargers and some headphones, but um, why is there no boomerang in the box? Now keep in mind guys, this is a budget phone, so you won't be getting all the features that you get on the iPhone 10 times the price. So you will get a headphone jack, and yes, you will get a fingerprint scanner. All right, have an FM radio, but it will actually be 24 grams lighter, I'm sorry. Speaking of which, if you don't want that uh, additional storage, the SD card uh, spot can actually be used for a second SIM card, although it is only 2G for that second SIM card. You got 4G on the main one, 2G on the second one, which is getting phased out in Australia, so not even Kogan Mobile Network will support it soon, but it is the thought that counts. Now I have to say, just on initial impressions, it does feel quite good. You know, you got metal on the back. It doesn't feel like a budget phone. So, uh, so far so good. And there's the screen, which actually looks really good for a budget phone. Nice and vibrant. And I even hear that Game of Thrones looks a bit better on this phone because it's, uh, it's made of dragon glass. Yeah. Though, for the purposes of this video, we will settle for a game of chins. Not bad. All right, enough of these fun and games. Let's play some games. Aussie Wheels Highway Racer. How perfect. This should be mandatory on all Australian phones. All right, this is a 3D racing game, so it should be really taxing on the system. Just as well, this one includes GST. Hello, Aussie Craftsmanship. One, please. Oh, look out, buddy. Ah, ah, yes, success. No, the frame rate isn't 100%, but it's very much playable. Ah, especially when I'm driving. Ah, no, taxi. Yeah, not bad. Played the game all right, perfectly serviceable. Not smooth like butter, but maybe smooth like fridge butter. Um, only criticism is that uh, the cars drove on the right and the left. All right, shush, camera time. Here we go. Let's start off with the back facing camera. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, doesn't look too good, but I don't know if that's the camera on my face. So uh, here's some more shots. Now let's try the front facer. And this is the front facing camera. Let's see how it handles motion. Action Jackson, um, probably wouldn't use it as my vlogging camera, but you should probably use a normal camera anyway. Let's check out the rear now. Okay, and this is the rear camera. A little bit yellower than I thought. Don't know, maybe that's software. Maybe it's applying a Simpsons filter. Okay, so the camera could be a little bit better, and that's really the first budgety thing I've felt with this phone. Otherwise, it really, really isn't too bad. I think it's ready to uh, go out and explore the world. Come with me. I come from a land down under, where phones cost over a thunder. But now, it's time to put another silicon chip on the barbie. No, it's not time for a shrimp, not even a sausage. It's time for an Agora 8. Smack your lips on this mouthpiece because you get more bang for your buck in the bush. You can't get reception in the bush. The Agora 8. It's the reason kangaroos have pouches. And when it's time to upgrade to the Agora 9, you can recycle your Agora 8 into Vegemite. Okay guys, final thoughts with the Agora 8. I have to say, I am quite pleasantly surprised. I expected this really to be total crap because I've been an iPhone user for ages and I just assume phones have to cost millions upon millions of dollars. And yes, I did recently switch to a Blackberry, that's a whole nother thing. The build quality feels good, the screen looks nice, games play fine. The only thing that does sort of detract it where you feel the budgetiness of it is the camera, so do be aware of that. But hey, that's what 
Instagram effects were invented for. Check it out, the Agora 8, link in the description and apparently right on the home screen, so that's handy. Until next time, this is Sam Tucker saying, stay funky everyone. Sam time, signing off. Subscribe today. Funky time. And we're proud to say that the Agora 8 is fully compatible with the Kitai. As you can see, you can experience unlimited multimedia pleasure with the Agora 8 and the Kitai. Well, seems to be putting the Kitai into sleep mode, but um, it's, it's still good.